Hey, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, got a really cool oldie here. This is an old buffalo cutlery uh, cattle knife. And um, you can see you get the uh, butter and molasses going on there. Really nice knife from yesteryear. Um, filming this outside. Um, hope that works out. I can't really tell. But it is just gorgeous out here in northwest Georgia. Beautiful, beautiful sky. Feels great. Sun's beating down and I couldn't resist coming outside to do some filming. So uh, I hope you check out the video and um, check out this interesting night. Alright, welcome back to Fortified Castle. Hi to all my viewers. Bonjour. Privet. Guten Tag. Ola and channel to you, my foreign viewers. And today we're filming from outside. Beautiful, beautiful Northwest Georgia day. I uh, couldn't resist, but I don't know how it's going to work with the sunlight here. But um, so what you have here is a three and five eighths. Uh, cattle knife. This is standard size for a cattle knife and um, I don't know how it's really going to show up with this sun but man it's nice being out here so I'm just going to film it and see how it goes. Um, this um, is from well let's just describe the knife. Three and five eighths. Um, you have brass pins, brass liners, nickel silver bolsters, nickel silver shield. And uh, hard to really tell, but you can see this thread right there, parts of it right there, parts of it right there. So this is really worn, and just a little bit of the threads are, are uh, left, but really good looking. Uh, you can see it's just nice and smooth on the tang, really nicely made. Um, this is a celluloid here, and um, these were actually sold as imitation uh, horn. Uh, we call them, collectors call them butter and molasses, but um, that's supposed to be an imitation horn. Let's see if I can get in. You see the Buffalo Cutlery Company right there. Nice big clip blade. Nice snap on that, even after uh, 100 years. So Goins puts this knife at um, 1900 to 1920. I actually think this knife dates between 1920 and 1930. Nice little swedge there. Really nice. There's your tang. It's a little dirty. I was cleaning it up. Probably dirty, really dirty there. That's okay. Look at the other side. That is your awl or punch, leather punch. Good snap. Now this pin blade here. You can see a lot of wear on that right there. Long pull. This is gook. I, I oiled this thing. And it's pulling all this gook out of here. This is uh, kind of weak. Got a little snap there. Look at the transitions. Just perfect transitions there. It still closes, but very weak on the closing of it. So... This company, there's no information on it whatsoever. Uh, really, the knife could have been made by anybody. The quality of the knife, you, you'd have to rule out Colonial, Imperial, Utica, uh, those type of companies. Maybe Shred Cutlery. Um, it was produced in the time frame that Walden could have produced this knife or Empire Knife Company. Um... Robinson could have, but um, 
a research area this knife came out of there was a buffalo knife company and this was not a retail store it was a uh, they produced knives so it could have been produced by them it seems logical but buffalo is also close to rochester new york and so it could have been robinson produced this knife um but i'm showing you some pictures now of um buffalo hardware company and um this knife could have been sold through Buffalo Hardware Company. Um, and the thing about that is if this was a Buffalo Knife Company, it would have been Mark Knife Company. And so the Cutlery Company kind of makes me believe that, that this hardware chain sold this knife. That's where I think it came from. Since it's a hardware chain, they could have uh, got it from anywhere. Um... So I don't know. Interesting in my research, um, in 1917 there was a uh, a lawsuit filed by some plaintiffs against Buffalo Hardware Company, and what it boiled down to is they were trying to put an injunction on them to keep them from uh, the address where this this company was, and so I guess the lease expired or something like that. And um, Buffalo uh, Hardware Company was preventing the, the leaser from the premises. So apparently they didn't pay their bills and they were being kicked out. So um, all that's kind of interesting. I hope you enjoyed this knife. It's a beautiful standard um, cattle knife. Good, good weight to this knife. Just beautiful. And um, even if it dates to the 30s, that's 90 years old. But Gowen says between 1900 and 1920, so I don't know. I think because of the pens, they're so smooth. And see how the pens are about the same size as the, uh, the uh, back spring pen? Um, that kind of happened later. And so I think this was made in the 20s. That's the date I would put on it. All right. Really appreciate you all. Thanks for checking the video out. I hope you have a fantastic day. And uh, later on, I'm going to be doing a live stream. Hope to see you on there.